Trying to hit number one on Google Maps without the right tool is like trying to climb Everest in a swimsuit. It's just not going to happen. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the SEO toolkit I personally use to help my clients rank at the top of Google Maps and how you can use it to get ahead of your competition. But before we dive in, there's a quick disclaimer. This is the set of tools I've been using for years. And while it works great for me, there are plenty of other options out there. So make your own choice. That said, whether you're optimizing your own Google business profile or doing it for clients, I highly recommend giving these tools a try. All right, let's kick things off with the first one, GMB Everywhere. If you've been following me for a while, you're probably already familiar with GMB Everywhere, as I've mentioned this tool in many of my previous videos. I like to call it my Google Business Profile SEO Swiss Army Knife. For those of you who aren't familiar with GMB Everywhere yet, it's a browser extension that helps you optimize your Google Business Profile and boost your ranking performance on Google Maps. GMB Everywhere is super easy to use. Once you've installed the extension on your browser, you can access all the insights and data of any Google business listings directly from Google Maps. For example, what business categories and services they've added to their listing, both of which are crucial for rankings. This allows you to compare and identify areas for improvement in your own profile with just one click. With GMB Everywhere, you can also analyze Google posts and reviews, both for your profile and your competitors. It shows the frequency of posts, the types of reviews being left, and how they're engaging with their audience. There's also an option to check how well your business ranks across different locations, giving you insights into how your business is performing in specific geographic areas. This is especially useful for optimizing your local SEO strategy. Additionally, there's an AI component that can generate new Google posts, respond to reviews, create questions and answers, write a business description for your listing, craft Facebook posts, and discover new categories and service options for your business. It also integrates directly within your Google Business Profile Management dashboard, so you can make updates directly on the dashboard itself. I find this tool invaluable and I use it all the time. GMB Everywhere is a freemium product with some cool features available at no cost, like a few audits each month. To give it a try, just click on the link in the description below. Moving on to the next tool, Plepper. Just like GMB Everywhere, Plepper is also a browser extension that overlays detailed information directly onto Google Maps, but this time via a pop-up window. It has a bunch of features to help you dive into your competitor's Google business profiles. Just search for one of your target keywords and Plepper will automatically update, showing details about all the profiles competing for that keyword. For example, you'll see the most common categories other businesses are using for that keyword, which is super important since categories play a huge part in how well your listing ranks. The review tab shows the highs, lows, and average number of reviews in that category, helping you see if you're on par with your competitors or need to boost your reviews to stay competitive. The attributes tab displays which attributes your competitors are using, ranked by popularity. If you're missing any important ones, it's a good idea to add them to your listing if they make sense for your business. One of my favorite features is the Business Hours Insight. It shows the average hours businesses in your category are open each day and which days they're open. Since business hours can impact your rankings, it's easy to see if you should consider extending yours if your competitors are open longer, so you don't miss out on extra visitors. If you click on a specific listing, the pop-up updates to show more details just for that business. Even though it's not quite as advanced as GMB everywhere, I like to use Plepper alongside it when auditing Google Business Profiles to cover all the bases. The best part, Plepper is totally free and you can find the link to the extension in the description of the video. Let's now look at another key tool every business owner or local SEO professional wannabe should add to their arsenal. GeoGrid Rank Tracking Tool. Just so you know, a GeoGrid Rank Tracking Tool helps you see how your Google Business Profile ranks on Google Maps for specific keywords in different areas of your city. In just a few minutes, you can check how your visibility changes from one street to the next and get a quick visual of how your business shows up locally. If you're serious about boosting your visibility on Google Maps, 
using a GeoGrid tool is a must. Doing it manually would take forever and is nearly impossible. There are a bunch of these tools out there, but I personally use Local Falcon the most. Local Falcon was the first of its kind, and while many other grid tracking tools have popped up since, I still think Local Falcon is the best. With just a few clicks, you can see how well your listing ranks on Google Maps in real time, how your competitors are doing, and if your visibility is improving over time or not. I also love the data it provides, like average rank position and share of voice, which shows how much of the market you're covering. Plus, Local Falcon lets you track your performance on Apple Maps, something not many tools offer, which is a nice bonus. It even gives you AI recommendations to help you improve your Google business profile and beat your competitors. I could go on and on about it, but honestly, you should just try it for yourself. Local Falcon offers a free trial with 100 free credits when you sign up, no credit card required. So why not give it a shot? The link is in the description. Time to look at our next tool, WhiteSpark. WhiteSpark is a great option if you're looking to boost your Google business profile visibility. They offer some really good tools such as a citation finder, a local rank tracker, and a reputation builder to help you get more Google reviews all within a beautifully designed and user-friendly interface. But the one tool that really stands out for me though is their local platform. It helps you protect your Google business listing from unwanted changes. Most people don't know that anyone can suggest edits to your profile, things like changing your business name, phone number, address, or even marking your business as closed. This can seriously mess up how visible your profile is on Google Maps, and Google won't always notify you when changes are made. WhiteSpark's local platform keeps an eye on your listing and alerts you when someone tries to make such changes, so you can decide whether to accept or reject them. It's a simple way to protect your profile and avoid any problems that could lead to a drop in rankings or lost businesses due to incorrect information. Plus, it even lets you create a simple one-page website and manage all your Google business profile info right from their platform. And honestly, even if you just sign up so you can benefit from the profile protection at $1 a month, it's a total steal for the peace of mind it gives you. Just like all the other tools, the link to WhiteSpark is in the description below if you want to give it a go. Sometimes you don't have to search hard or spend a dime to find great tools. That's the case with this next one, your Google Business Profile Performance Info. When I start working with new clients, I always ask them what keywords they want to be found for. I have to be honest here, most of the time their ideas are either unrealistic or not even relevant to local search. That's usually because they don't really know how Google sees their business. But there's a super easy way to figure that out. Just check the performance section of your Google business profile. Once you're in there, you'll see the keywords people used that showed your profile on Google Maps. Pay attention to the keywords that get the most views since they show what's most relevant to your business and local area. Exclude the ones with your brand name. Then plug those keywords into your favorite keyword research tool. If you don't have one, Google Keyword Planner is free and works great. It will help you find related keywords or longer variations of them. Look for patterns. Do certain keywords keep showing up or are combined with local modifiers like near me or the name of your city? If they are, those are probably great ones to optimize your listing for. If some of your services or products you offer aren't showing in that list, it clearly shows there is a gap in your optimization. So there is a clear opportunity right there. Keep an eye on your performance tab regularly to spot new keywords or trends in how people are finding your business. Use this info to adjust your content and local SEO strategy so you stay on top of things. It's super easy to do, really effective, and totally free. Let's have a look at our next tool, yet another free one, Google Analytics. Knowing how many people visit your website, where they come from, what pages they check out, and whether they actually become customers is super important for measuring your business's success. That's why tracking what's happening on your site is key, and that's where Google Analytics come in. Now you might be thinking, wait a minute, isn't this a video about improving my Google business profile? What does Google Analytics have to do with that? 
Well, actually quite a bit. Your Google business profile lets you add all sorts of content like product details, Google posts, links to your website, a menu if you're a restaurant owner and more. But the problem is Google doesn't really tell you how well that content from your listing is doing. You have no way of knowing if people are clicking those links or if they're turning into customers by calling you or making a purchase. That's where Google Analytics can help by tagging the content on your Google business profile and setting up the right report in Google Analytics you can track how well everything is performing on your listing. You'll be able to see if people are clicking the links and whether they're turning into customers. This gives you a clear idea of what's working and helps you make smarter marketing decisions and not waste time in adding content that doesn't perform. The good news is I've recently posted a quick tutorial that walks you through the steps on how to set this up either for your clients' profiles or for your own, which you can access right at the end of this video. One last thing, Google Analytics is another one of those tools that is completely free. Let's now look at the final tool, which has become a huge part of my SEO kit, Canva. You've probably heard of Canva. It's a super popular online graphic design tool. You might be wondering why I included it on this list. Well, boosting your Google rankings is important, but turning those clicks into actual customers is just as crucial. That's why having eye-catching visuals on your Google business profile can make a huge difference, getting people to click through to your website or give you a call. The best thing about Canva is how easy it is to use. Their drag and drop setup makes designing simple and with thousands of templates for pretty much everything, you'll find what you need. If not, you can easily create custom designs. Plus, there's a huge library of free images to use. Canva's perfect for making Google posts, designing product images, or creating a standout cover photo for your profile, or even a logo from scratch. And that's just scratching the surface. You can also use Canva for social media posts, print materials, build a website, make presentations, and a ton more. I used to be a Photoshop aficionado, but once I switched to Canva, I never looked back. It's way cheaper than Photoshop, and there's even a free version that's more than enough to get you started. The paid version is super affordable too. Honestly, it's well worth it. That's my Google Business Profile SEO Toolkit. Some of these tools are free and others might require a small fee. But as you can see, they're all budget friendly. If you're running a business, this is just a small investment that will pay off big time. And as I promised, if you want to learn how to track how visitors interact with your Google Business Profile content, make sure to check out the next video.